Hi, everyone, and welcome to our live stream today for exporters. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the digital landscape of South Africa and how you can best position your business to grow within this thriving economy. So really looking forward to today. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat below. Uh, but sure, we'll go ahead and start. So if you are seeking to enter the South African market or really just trying to sell your products or services into Africa, this is the live stream for you. Uh, so the South, South Africa of today is one of the most sophisticated and promising uh, emerging markets globally. Uh, the unique combination of highly developed economic infrastructure and a huge emergent market economy has given rise to a strong uh, entrepreneurial and dynamic investment landscape. South Africa represents an economic powerhouse of the African continent, ranked third largest in Africa, and is the most technologically advanced and diversified economy in Africa. According to an annual World Bank study, South Africa is actually ranked favorably for its ease of doing business. So it's no surprise, therefore, that the South African market represents an attractive market uh, for U.S. companies seeking to enter the sub-Saharan African marketplace and establish their African presence. Uh, in fact, many global uh, players already have, including Amazon, Lufthansa, Delta, ASDA, etc. So all this really gives you an idea of South Africa's relevancy in the trading world, as well as its pivotal role in the future economic prosperity of Africa. Um, so South Africa's continued growth is underpinned by the broader digital transformation of the country. So within a population of 60 million, 42 million people are active internet users. These numbers reveal the continued disparity of wealth within South Africa's economy. However, to compensate for this internet disparity, uh, South Africa is extremely well connected thanks to their mobile devices. In fact, 99% of the population own a mobile phone. With a total of 109 million mobile connections, this accounts for 180% of the population, meaning most people have a phone or even two to communicate, message, pay their bills with, check social media, etc. So for those people accessing the internet, daily time spent is high compared to other countries with an average of 11 hours a day. Once again, mobile connectivity plays a major role here with 96% of users accessing the internet via phones. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, throughout these four times of internet, most of it is spent, or sorry, within these hours, four hours of this time is actually spent on social media. And that's because South Africans love social media with 28 million citizens actively engaging with social media platforms, the most popular being WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram. So just to give you an idea, Meta reports that the potential audience reach with Facebook ads in South Africa amounts to 24 million people. So social media marketing should be a top priority for any business hoping to grow in this market. When it comes to the growth of internet use and mobile connectivity, these really point towards why South Africa has the highest penetration of fintech of the African continent, producing some of the most innovative fintech solutions exported globally. Digital payments and alternative financing are extremely popular. An example of this is the mobile payment provider Yoko, which now has over 120,000 small entrepreneurs using its services. South Africa also ranks fourth in EY's fintech adoption index, which is 82% higher than the Netherlands. Now, when looking at smartphone devices, internet connectivity, as well as the pandemic in the last two years, that really bolstered the growth of e-commerce markets. In general, South Africa has a high rate of financial inclusion, with 70% of its population actually holding an account with a financial institution, which has made it easier for South Africans to quickly embrace online payment options. With over 25 million citizens purchasing products over the internet, 46% of which is done via mobile. This equates to an annual spend of $10 billion in goods. Now, businesses across South Africa are choosing to pivot to digital solutions, and it has been a complete game changer, drastically reducing the financial burden of maintaining storefronts. Businesses can now focus on improving customer service and streamlining logistics to increase revenue. So if you're interested in selling your goods, South Africa is really rife with opportunity. Now, in light of these digital trends, South Africa represents a rewarding exporting market for businesses willing to invest in building out an online ecosystem for their prospects. If this is something that really appeals to you and you'd like to learn more or hear more about how to grow in this dynamic market, 
don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you for being on this live stream today. And thank you for watching. I'll take any questions in the comments as well. Thank you.